like again the dismount i'm really just like uh, smash a like button uh. <laughs> <laughs> whatever um go on Welcome to the From Start to Finish podcast. We are starting a new series today. This is all about boot buying. I will be your host, Morgan. I am the digital marketing manager. And helping me along this journey, at least today, is Becca. It's me. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for coming back. I'm sure everyone's excited to see you. Um, so why are we doing the boot buying podcast? Um, as you know, I'm new here. In case you weren't aware, I am new here. Um, And the boot world has been, I'll say confusing. Yeah. Um, There's a lot more than I thought there was in the boot world. Um, And actually, I've had a few conversations with some customers. Mm -hmm. Michael, thanks for emailing me. Shout out. um, Who have talked about how much they love the boots, but like figuring it out is a beast. So we're going to do this series going over everything that you would need to know to get your first pair of boots or your second pair or dive a little bit deeper into it. Um, so one of the things actually that I liked about boot, like, I like about boots and Knicks is the customization options, but that's where I get very confused. Yes. Yeah. I feel like that's it's, where most uh, of the questions are. Yeah. It's a blessing and a curse. Yeah. It's one of those, those situations. Right. If you can dream it, you can do it at Knicks. Um, but also if you don't know what to dream, it's too difficult. So um, we do have that option. If you're a build your own boots person, you know what you're doing. Of course, you know, we have that option. Um, but we also do have those less customized options on the sites, on this website, which a lot of people don't know about. Um, so really, no matter what route you want to take, this series will help you, although this is geared more toward your beginner or kind of second, first pair of boot buyer. Um, for this introduction episode today, we're just going to talk about a couple of the reasons why buying boots or buying the nice pair of boots is important. Um, so firstly, we offer a couple options for boots. We have heritage boots and work boots. Correct. Yeah. Um, do you have a pair of either of those? Um, so this gets <laughs> tricky immediately <laughs> I see. because what is a work boot? Mm-hmm. Morgan? Cause I have boots with lug soles on them mm-hmm. in a work leather. Uh, no, I don't. I have a heritage leather with a lug sole and then a work leather with a heritage sole. Do you see? Do you see how this can get confusing? Yes. <laughs> um, but it's a work heritage boot. Yeah. So that gets dicey right off the bat. I think it's easy it's just to categorize it by the leather. Because mm-hmm. um, like a Chelsea, we have a work version. I would say in general, Chelsea's are heritage boots. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they have lug soles on them. Um, but yes, I have work leather and heritage leather. Gotcha. Okay. So buying a boot, you have to know kind of a lot. You've got to yes. know, like, from the heel to the leather type. You've got to know what's for work, what's for heritage, if you're doing the customization options. If you're going for what we have, we do them by application, which I think has been very helpful for me um, to shop and try to figure out yes. what that is. So. If you're looking for a boot currently right now and you're not sure what to do, I would browse somewhere by application. Yes. The Nick's website, you can do by function. um, And it breaks it down pretty nicely into heritage and work and then getting into like, do you need this NFPA certified? Do you need this like EH rated? Um, So that's pretty helpful. Um, So that would be my first tip probably, if you agree with me there, when you're buying the right boot, consider the application Mm-hmm. For the boot, and then shop by function first. Yeah, before sort you try to do form informally. How we train customer service reps. Mm-hmm. So, like, if someone calls in and says, "I love your boots. I want a pair," but I have no idea what I need or where want. to start. We kind of start with, "Okay, did you have a specific leather you wanted, or how are you going to be using these boots? Do you need them for mowing the lawn on the weekend, but otherwise you're just in an office?" Mm-hmm. Walking around, are you in construction? Are you using these for fire? Like what? Mm-hmm. what's your application? And that can weed out a lot of options that you don't need to sort through. Right. Okay, very nice tip. So first think about your application, the function that you need to get from them. Then the next thing you're gonna want to consider is materials, of course. Um, ideally you wanna go with high quality materials like 
what we use here at NYX, the boots last a very long time. From what I'm hearing from people, they wear them for years before they even have to think about resoling or rebuilding the boots, mm -hmm. which is an option, which is great. Yes. Because prior to my NYX boots life, uh, you throw them out when they wear down. They're disposable, <laughs> which is not how shoes should be. Surprise. Um, so <laughs> that is very awesome. Um, I like that a lot because it is a little bit of an investment to get mm -hmm. a pair of Knicks, but like if I'm not buying a new pair of boots every six months, it makes sense to yeah. me. And it gives you options in the future. So there's a little more like, if you don't love an option that you picked, you can probably change it when it's mm -hmm. time to rebuild them. You're not stuck with it forever. Oh yeah. I didn't even think about that. You can be like, Hey, freshen this up. Yeah. Nice. Or like, yeah, the sole wore out a little too fast. I think I'll switch to something else. Or the sole was too hard. I think I want something softer. Mm -hmm. um, you can you can switch it up. Oh, yeah. That's a very good point. I like that a lot. So um, go for quality materials because when you do that quality, you can rebuild. You can resole. You can keep that pair of boots for life. Um, that's definitely what I recommend there. Um, and then last tip for today for our – series. Um, you probably want to start, and actually this this tip is born from you telling me that I should start with something like simple, classic for my first pair of boots because I've been agonizing over what I'm going to get. Um, so my suggestion is buy something you'll wear often. If it's a work boot, obviously mm -hmm. you're going to wear that like daily. Um, but there is a break-in period of time for the boots. The more you wear them, the more comfortable they feel and the better they fit you, is my understanding. Okay. Yes. I think of it Especially if you're new to not just Knicks, but like this sort of handmade Pacific Northwest overbuilt kind of boot. Mm -hmm. Like if you've been wearing, you know, like just more lightweight, everyday mass produced footwear your whole life and you're jumping into Knicks, like that's a pretty big shift. Mm -hmm. So like if someone has never tried sushi, I'm not giving them sashimi the first time we go for sushi. We're starting with like... Here's a California right. roll. Easing into it. Yes. Yeah. So I'd start with something that's like tried and true. You know that you'll wear it. Um, so you can kind of get used to the idea and the feel and the performance of a handmade boot. Um, and then on your next pair or when you rebuild, you can kind of start tweaking things. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if you if you pick a fully customized kind of weird boot for your first one, you might run into some issues that could have avoided if you just started right. with a, a staple that you knew you'd wear. Mm -hmm, exactly. So start with a nice classic, um, something that you know you love, uh, and then go with a basic color. I think most people choose black or brown for their first pair of boots, yep. probably. Um, the colored leathers are really, really fun, but they can definitely be like, oh, I don't want to put on my red boots today Yeah, kind of a thing. So very awesome. All right. Um, so top three tips for beginner boot buyers. Um, think about the boot for the job first. Don't get stressed so much about the different toe styles and the different leathers that you can put on it. What do you actually need the boot for? Um, think about buying quality materials. So when you're considering your boot purchase, you want to go with someone who has high quality leathers like we use, high quality soles, all that, rebuildable, resolable shoes. Boots are obviously the best. Um, and then get something that you can wear often. If it's a work boot, you'll be wearing it a lot. Um, but otherwise, you'll want to really break these boots in. The more you wear them, the more that you'll love them. All that stuff. Love it. Um, so let's go over what the rest of the series will cover. That way, if you're listening and you want to add a question, you have a topic you'd like us to cover, um, I would love to hear from you. So the rest of the series. We're going to go over the anatomy of a boot. I think people need to know. What is a boot last? Yeah. Me Googling a, in, in a, a meeting. A lot of terms around <laughs> here that I forget or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Common language. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sometimes I have to be like, what are you talking about? Um, so we'll go over the anatomy of a boot. That way everyone can join the ranks of boot nerds and we know what we're talking about. Uh, we'll go over boot types. We'll talk about sizing and fit. I know that's a big struggle for a lot of people mm -hmm. is trying to figure out that. Um, and it is a different sizing at least for women, than what I'm used to. Yes. Yeah. So that is a whole new experience. Uh, we'll cover foot, foot and foot shapes. And last, uh, boot materials and construction, of course. We'll talk about features and functions, you know, testing your boots, trying them on, um, any pro tips for buying your boots online. We'll do a section on customizing boots. So if you haven't customized yet or you're kind of getting into the world of customization, we'll talk about how to do that, how best to do that. 
Um, and then we'll do care and maintenance. We do have a whole leather care series that we're going to be doing as well. That will be a little bit of a deeper dive there. And then just troubleshooting some common boot issues, common questions that like customer service hears, mm-hmm. all of that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be a great series. Yeah, I'm excited to have a, a resource available for people and the stuff that we go over all the time. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I was going to ask you, now that you're kind of in the deep end, Mm -hmm. I imagine you're already getting caught up in the like, ooh, but I could do this, but maybe I should stay with the original. Mm -hmm. Where where are you right now? What are you landing on? I think what I'm going to do, following your advice, going basic, I like the Becca boot. That's a beautiful boot. Thank you. I like a little heel. You're welcome. Um, Like a little heel for myself. And I loved... The blue, the navy that came through from Wicked yep. and Craig. Yep. Like it's so navy that you can't tell it's not a black leather until you put it next to a black leather. So I think I might do that, which I know veers a little bit, but I had a pair of blue boots that I loved. I got them from like a vintage shop. They mm-hmm. weren't labeled or anything. So I don't know who made them, but they were nice leather boots. And I wore them for two years and they fell apart and I couldn't, they weren't like nice enough to get them resold, you know? Yeah. But they were a navy leather, and I loved them. I, I think I might have to do that. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense to me. Navy would look great with the outfit you're wearing today. Thank you. I've seen a lot of fits from you that would look great with Thank you. a navy boot. Yeah, I do have a lot that works with navy. So It's a good pop of color, but it's not too ostentatious. Mm-hmm. Ooh, good word usage. Thank you. Ostentatious. I took AP Lit. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> um, but if you know what ostentatious means without Googling it, put it in the comments. Um, Becca, you have several pairs of boots, like yes. classic, pretty classic configurations, most uh-huh. of them. What is your next pair going to mm, be? Yeah. Here's, As somebody who has years of experience and several pairs of boots already. Yes. Here's right. the problem with being a Nick's Boots employee, because everybody is like, wow, Nick's Boots employees, you get to see all the boots, you get to pick what you want. But what nobody talks about is everybody in your family is like, when am I going to get my pair of boots? Yeah. And I don't have, you know... Thousands of dollars laying around to buy everybody in my family boots. What? Why? So then I have to like <laughs> divvy out my like employee pair. Yeah. As best I can. But my sister's getting married this year. And so she's asking, hinting at, mm. wouldn't it be nice if I had a nice <laughs> pair of boots to wear at my wedding? Mm-hmm. So I think I'm going to have to give them to Liz. But what I really want is a pair of greener pastures. Mm. I I'm, love that I green think leather. I was going to say a Chelsea, but honestly, the Traveler looks really good. The Traveler does look really good. And the Maxwell, those were comfy. I wore those over a whole weekend, and those were comfy boots. Yeah. I got a lot of compliments on them, too. People yeah. were like, whoa, where'd you get your boots? I would like a wedge sole. I have uh, a Western comp and then a V100, and then I have a, I think it's a Sierra sole. So I'd like to try a wedge. Mm. I don't really have any soft soles. I don't know that I want a honey because that's like too close to a V100. So okay. I think a wedge sole is probably next for me. Yeah. So even through part of that conversation, I just zoned out because I don't know what all those terms mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I was there for all of it. <coughs> the soles get me, though. We have new uh, new wedge soles coming in, yeah. don't we? Mm-hmm. I know everyone's very excited about that around here. We also have another boot coming up that I'm very excited about that is also tempting to me. Ooh, which one? Oh, can we say? Probably a secret. I think we can Show me say later. It. <laughs> it's the chore boot. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I think that we've... I think we've I hinted think we've at talked the chore about boot. it on the okay. podcast before. And if Great. not, if not spoiler we'll alert. <laughs> if not, this will be cut but out. But that's tempting to me. Yeah. I mean, that would look really nice, I think. It's kind of like bringing me back to my middle school days where everybody's wearing Uggs. Oh, the Ugg boot days. But, like, Those better. Yeah. I say, it, it does bring up the the nostalgia of the Ugg, but in a very adult, exactly. professional way. Yes. Yeah. Like, you can actually wear it out and not feel like yeah. you're still in middle school. Yeah. <laughs> Clomping around in your Uggs. I think I'd have to do 64 Brown if I did a chore boot, though. Yeah. I don't think I'd. It's a nice a classic. Green. Yeah, that's true. What would you get the green in, then? Probably a traveler still. A traveler still. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know. Well, okay, fine. <laughs> Go back to your original. <laughs> uh, people who listen to the podcast probably know that I hate lacing up boots. Yeah. So I avoid lace-ups. That's fair. It is a chore. Yeah. To do that. That's why the chore boots are nice. No Just lace on. It's the best. Mm. Any other questions? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that was a brilliant sequence. <laughs> the luck over. <laughs> what are you doing, Kelsey? What are you getting a, a boot again? Well, did you similar, give yours away? Yeah. Similar you to guys you. Are so nice. I so my all of my immediate family does have their boots now. Um, however, my boyfriend works construction, mm-hmm. as you know. And so I, so he like needs boots. So or he something. like yeah, needs work. them for work. <laughs> so I, uh, I gave him my free pair of boots for the year. But um, mm. yeah, I think I really want like a fun colored leather. Yeah, for my next one because I do have two black pairs of boots. Like I have an Urban Drifter and a Chelsea that are both very standard. Um, and I think I want something that has a little bit of a pop of color. Which one? I I okay. feel like you Which could pop? do red. So honestly. we've had Ooh. we've had some test boots come through, like different leathers that we probably won't be using. But there's been like orange, mm-hmm. yeah. And I really want an orange pair of boots. You know that would actually make sense to me. Yeah, the mango. Yeah, you could the, rock mango the mango I love, but yeah. I unfortunately don't think that we're gonna be um, keeping it around. No, but I don't think so. That's kind of the dream. But who knows? By the time I, by the time I have another pair of boots that I can get for myself, maybe we will have an orange. Who yeah. Knows? Yeah. So, might. or there'll be some scrap back there we're trying to get rid of. Oh, and yeah. Like you, I also want a wedge because all of mine right now are lugs. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. I think I'm gonna go for a. I mean, I have to go for a lug with a Becca, obviously. But I think I, I think I like that. I'm like, mm, yes. chunky boot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I know there's the a time chunky. and a place. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just yeah for my first pair, I think I have to go like boot. Yep. You know. What did your boyfriend get for his pair of lucky a, guy? Um, and this is slightly controversial. I don't think he knows this. <laughs> uh oh, if you're listening. Uh, but he got a uh, a tanker. Mm-hmm. So he works construction. He got a, a, like a pull on, which some people don't like. But the thing is, he runs um, bulldozers all day. Mm. So he is sitting okay. uh, for like most of the day. Yeah. And lace ups will like cut circulation off if they're too tight when you're sitting all day. So. Um, but yeah, he got a classic tan rough out, honey vibe, tanker he pro. He did tan? Tan rough out, yeah. Rough out. Why does that surprise me? What did I you think know. he what would do? He's looking black. Do? Oh. No, he like, so he he saw the tan rough out product image on the website and was like, that's, mm, that's, that's what I want. That's what he fell in love with. Mm. Yeah. And then he debated it when he was here and we were putting the order in, but he landed on his first love. <laughs> You go back to your first love. That's what they say, right? Uh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've heard that somewhere. Yeah. Uh, whatever. <laughs> well, they do say, like, you go with your go with your gut. Like, the first thing that you yeah. kind of are drawn mm-hmm. to, like, that applies to a lot of things. And I think that applies to boots, too. Yeah, yeah that so, makes sense. Yeah. Go with your gut. Mm-hmm. Your first instinct. I always regret it when I don't follow that advice. I back to restaurants every time. I'm like, this is mm-hmm. what I'm going to get. And then I go there. And then I... Changed my order. I'm like, mm-hmm. I should have gotten the thing I wanted. I knew I would have liked that other thing better. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you don't want to like cut yourself off from experiences and opportunities. Right. But also, you know yourself pretty well. And a boot is a much larger investment than a dinner. Just a little bit. Depends, Depends on, on where, where you're, you're going. going. Dinner, but <laughs> yeah. <true. laughs> That's very but true. But typically, yeah. Yeah. Yep. For most people, I would say. Um, Okay, so as I said, anybody who's listening, if you have questions, if you have topics you'd like us to cover for this series, please let us know. Um, I would love to hear from you, and I would love to cover the things that you actually want to hear. So um, let us know that. And then definitely do share this video with a friend who might be debating their first pair of Knicks, um, might have questions about being in the boot world, or somebody else who you want to be a boot fanatic just like you. Because I think more people should be in the world. Um, Do you have any other final pro tips for... Buying your first pair of boots. Um, if you've got questions or you run into issues along the way, always feel mm. free to give us a call or send us an email. Um, yeah. That's what we do day in and day out. We have the luxury of being around boots 40 hours a week, getting asked all kinds of questions. Um, so there probably aren't a ton of questions we haven't been asked. Yeah. Um, so we've, we've got answers for you if you can't find it online or you're just debating and need to know specifically what's going to work best for you. We're happy to help. Awesome. Love it. Yep. Give us a call. Leave us a message anywhere and we will help you with that. And definitely let us know in the comments what you want to see from us. Thank you so much for listening and watching and we'll see you next time. That's a good opening question. That was. What? You should ask a question about like if you could have a luxury meal, where would you go and what would it be? Shyler would love that question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll save that one for Shyler. Yeah, definitely.
what I'm actually going to like type it down right now. My answer is um, that island from the menu. <laughs> you would go there? I would Not be, that evening, I would obviously. Be, I would be the one that he pulls out and let's escape because she shouldn't have been there in the first place. Also, that burger looked amazing. It looked so, so good. I can't even handle it. And that movie was crazy. 